when I began med school, I had no idea that three years later I'd be interested in something called MedPEDS, or a combined residency training program in internal medicine and pediatrics. And to subspecialize in a fellowship, my interest is actually adult congenital heart disease, which is a really narrow specific field that most folks outside of medicine have never even heard of. I think from other people I've talked to before going to medical school, a lot of people seem to be very stressed out and um, they still enjoyed medical school, but it seemed to be um, almost cumbersome at times for them. But in my experience, I've actually realized that it gets better every day and I think that every day that I'm learning something new, it's really exciting and to realize that the things that we're learning about, the basic sciences, those are things that are going on in our body every single day as we're speaking. And sometimes I have moments where I just stop and think to myself, this is so amazing. Like I just spent two hours learning about this concept, but it's going on in like milliseconds inside of your body. And I think that's just a really cool and amazing thing. So the biggest advice, I, we have um, big siblings kind of with a second year, so we have a really good relationship with the class above us. Um, and one of the best pieces of advice when I started was just be very humble. Um, you're never going to know everything. Like, there's no way that you can catch all that water from a fire hydrant in your mouth. Like, there's no way that you can drink that much water at one time without exploding. Um, so my biggest advice is be humble. It was really surprising that by taking a step back and realizing you can't learn everything, you can't memorize every cancer gene or disease. Um, it really requires a lot of repetition and work. And if you put in the work, it works out a lot. Um, I've had a really good balance of being able to study, not studying all day, all, all day, every day. It's not like that at all. It's I have my time to study and I have my time to have some time for myself. And that makes me a happy student, which makes me very successful.